Welcome to part two of Coil Pots with Sheriff. So here's where I left off yesterday. So my next step is if I get my template, I had begun to finish my shape. And if you guys can see, I'm pretty spot on there. So I'm happy about that. So my next coil has to go in a little bit. And this is nice and a little bit firmer now, so it's not so soft, so that it's gonna be great for me to attach pieces onto it at this point. And it'll hold the weight without kind of squishing the rest of it. So remember, we'll focus on smoothing out the entire outside when we're almost done. And then this is the shape I'm going for. So I'm about here, so I need to go in. So let's get moving. I'm gonna slip and score and then we're gonna do a little fast forward video of me doing this so we get it done. So remember, we're gonna start in the coils with our hands here, and I'm gonna roll a full rotation, not pushing too much, just kind of spreading my fingers out and rolling outwards. Any bumps, I'm just gonna pat down. And I have a coil about the thickness of my finger and we're gonna attach that. So remember, slip and score, Mr. Sheriff's cheating right now. And we're gonna set that just on the inside. I'm gonna kind of pinch that in place. And then once again, I'm just gonna take my thumb and kind of smudge that clay over the gap. And I got my nice soft clay, so it's super easy to work with. So once again, just add a little bit of water in a separate plastic bag to some of your little clay pieces. it will make it nice and soft. And then I got one more in. Now that I'm here, um, I can't really fit my hand in anymore. So I wanna make sure that my inside is nice and smooth. So I'm gonna hold the outside and just kind of drag my finger along or my thumb. I can dip it in a little water if I have some to help, just to kind of help my finger glide along in there. And once again, having the clay super soft when I'm doing my attaching pieces for the day makes it super easy. And then I'm just gonna kind of smooth this outside. Curves, oof, perfect. Pretty perfect. Now see, that side's a little off, so I need to kind of tilt this up a little bit. Maybe kind of, where's my rolling pin go? I can kind of use my rolling pin to help that shape go in a little bit more. So I'm just tapping it on the surface, um, just kind of like this, and that'll help me kind of pat my shape in. All right, so then my next coil is pretty much gonna go straight on top since I'm here. I'm gonna go straight on top to build it up. And once again, I'm gonna do the last three coils real quick, and then we'll finish up this video and we'll talk about smoothing out the outside. So remember, we can just take our rib if I'm ready to stop for today. And I just wanna hold the inside and I'll just use that rib to scrape any of those lumps off and any of that extra clay. And also help me form my shape nice and smooth. All right, we'll do our last couple coils and we'll call it quits. So 
here, my shape, I kind of went in too much. So I'm just pinching out a little bit of that extra clay to get the shape that I was going for. So I'm just going to pinch it out, smooth it out to kind of get that shape to go more like this. Bingo. So then if you guys can see my shape needs to go out two more coils about out. So I'm going to get some more clay and we're going to wrap that up. Cool, so now I roughly have my coil pot done, and as you can see, it's a little uneven. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and smooth everything out, and then we're gonna come back, and I'll talk about our handles, and then how we can finish. And as you guys can see here, I'm kind of pushing out on the inside in some spots that I have a little dents against the rib to help smooth those areas out and kind of scrape off any of that extra clay bumps that's sitting there. So I'm putting my hand inside and I'm just kind of scraping, supporting what I'm pushing against. Um, it's helpful when I'm using the rib to clean it off every time I'm done. Otherwise, I'll just keep mushing that clay around. All right, so I'm pretty much done here. So I have most of my shape built. Um, it is a little soft on the top still. So if you guys notice, my top's a little bit uneven. So I'm gonna trim some of that off when this is a little bit more firm. Um, I scraped it with the rib and then I used a little bit of water to smooth out any of those rib marks. And then I just kind of started using my hands to feel if there's any dents or spots where I can push out or kind of heal. And also pay attention to the inside. You want that to be nice and smooth as well. So my last step before I start letting it dry a little bit to do my designs around it would be my handles. So I'm going to roll coils just like I did before. I'm going to try to make these really even and really neat. 
because they're going to look and be part of the pot and they're going to stand out if they don't look very nice. So I'm trying to roll a really nice coil here, really nice even one. I'm going to cut that in half. Oh, that was perfect. So handles you want to think about like an ear or an upside down J. A lot of people want to attach them this way. They don't hold very well like that. So what we do is we bend them like half of a heart and then that will get attached right there. So I'll slip and score to make sure those attachments hold together really well. And then I'll just kind of pinch the handle on supporting it from the outside and the inside. And then the bottom part, I will slip and score and then just smooth on. Now, one of the keys to handles besides slipping and scoring is never touching them after you attach them. If I try to pick this pot up by the handles when it's soft or dry, it will break off. So please don't do that. So then I'm just gonna use my fingers and smooth that handle on there and smooth this one on. The key too is smoothing the attachments where I can't fit my fingers. So I can take the needle tool or the paintbrush or something and just kind of smooth that seal in those little tight to reach areas underneath. And then when I do my next one, I just want to make sure it matches. So I'm trying to look directly across here. And then I'll look at it this way. I'm gonna move that up a little bit. Right there. Yeah, that's it right there. So once again, don't be like Sheriff, make sure you slip and score. Slip, score, smooth, smudge. This works better when the clay is a little bit softer. So we'll heal those up a little bit, smooth them out with our sponge. Smooth the seams at the top and the inside. And boom. I am pretty happy with that for making it quick. It is a little bit lopsided, but that doesn't bother me too much. My shape is pretty, pretty close to being spot on here. So I could work on that a little bit more tomorrow with pushing the shape out and getting it to fit a little bit better. But honestly, it's not too bad and I'm not gonna worry about it. It generally looks like the shape I was going for, a little mini version. I think the top just needs a little trim tomorrow and then we're good. So handles, anything, a lid is different. So a lid, we're gonna roll out a slab just like we did a bottom and we're gonna make it so it sits on top. The easiest way to do that is roll out your slab. So say this is my slab of clay and then you flip this, boom, trace around it, pop it off and you will have a perfect lid that fits exactly your top. So even if it's a little bit uneven, it should fit really well and you shouldn't have any problems with it. Um, if you are doing a lid, please talk to me because you do want to put something that sits inside here. So usually what we do is we make the flat lid that sits on top and then we attach a little circular coil to the bottom so that when it sits on there, it can't slide off. But that is it for coil pot building. Tomorrow we'll come back and we'll talk about maybe how to do our designs how to trim some size off of this and maybe how to correct a little bit of bumps that I have around here. Um, usually most bumps can be handled by a rib and your hand pushing out and your rib doing the scraping and you can scrape that outside smooth. And then any little chunks you have left over, a little sponge wipe will help heal that right up and you guys will have a smooth coil pot.